Oh, Sloan Drum. Yeah, that's right. Hey, right. back my little corner here. Little revolutionary corner. Well, no, I'm not. I'm making an evolutionary revolutionary. So, I'm coming to the end of my ginger lover drink, which is actually ginger, garlic, lemon. That's about it. You can do this yourself. But this was commercially prepared. I got it. Where did I get it from? I forgot how I was on my video. Port Elizabeth. Got it from Port Elizabeth. Okay. So I put that there. So I'm drinking it now because, uh, well, I'm going to be, I'm traveling. Uh-huh. Traveling. It's my traveling case. So I recently Fitzpatrick gave this to me one time as a present. Long time ago, in the 80s, early 90s, in the, sometime. And I've been traveling ever since. This is a really good quality leather. Whatever. But, you know, Oh, real kid, you know, kind of my passport here. A bunch of other cards, you know. Maybe I'll go through this one of these days. But uh, the library card, Chesapeake Library, blah, blah, blah. Oh, by the way, hey, look. I voted in Chesapeake. Well, how about that? Voting. You hear the word on the uh, streets? Them Bernie people, they ain't giving up. No, no, I was going to say they won, but they ain't giving up. They said, no, these people, they, these people are going to rig the election, so we're going to make it so overwhelmingly. You got to go for Bernie. That's, so that's their job. That's fine. That's their job. That's, that's what they got to do. That's fine. I have an idea. I have a suggestion. Since Bernie's the inevitable one, you know, <laughs> they say that. And, of course, Trump is the inevitable one. That's no, whatever. Here's the thing. Voting. Remember, I told you I voted, I voted in Chesapeake right here. Yeah. Remember what I, said? I voted in Chesapeake. I'm an American citizen. I vote. Um, before I go into that, let me just say something. Let, let me kill this fly. Um, anyway, uh, when you vote, to me, it's, uh, vote. Voting is not always tracked up to be. For, to me, it's, it becomes just an exercise. An exercise, I mean, if I was really involved in the political process, I, I would do what I did a long time ago, which is just get myself involved in a campaign, you know what I'm saying? And then you can see from the inside what's going on, shenanigans, and all the rest of stuff. Anyway, so, um, uh, but I, I first voted, let me see. When I was 18, I couldn't vote. What? You know what I'm saying? What? That's right. I couldn't vote till I was, well, when I was, I couldn't vote. And there's nothing to, I think, I guess it was under Nixon that we got the right, you know, people 18, because we was going to war in Vietnam, uh, that we say, hey, if they got to fight, they got to vote. <laughs> so we got the right to vote. So you lowered age from 21 to 18. Um, so my first uh, thing was, uh, wasn't even a write-in, I guess it was a, well, I was out there for, I forget what it was, but whenever it was, no, no, no. I was out there. I was, already, I, don't know, I, was wherever. I was voting in New York. I loved voting in New York at the time because they had those old machines, you know, where you have the curtain. Yeah, the curtain's open, right? You had this lever, right? And then what happens is you close, you push this lever and it closes the curtain. I think that's what it was. But then you had these little ticky things that tick, 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 tick. With, with the, with the, the ballad was, you know, all the people on the ballad like that. So you can go tick. Tick, tick. And I love that sound of that tick, 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 tick. And then when you finish, when it's all done, you da, 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 then you pull this machine, this this lever again, but zhoosh, push it back again, you know, made that sound, you know. Hey, I'm enamored with sound. Remember, I'm an audio dramatist. So, hey, I like sound. So, I, and then that would open the curtain again, something like that. And then the, the paper back there was punching holes, it would just fall someplace, and, you know, you. that's how they did it in New York. Well, you know, Oh, whatever. The last time I voted in Chesapeake, here's what I did. It's the first time I, I could write in a DOS. Here's what I did. Here's what I did. Here's a strategy. Here's what I did. I think it was just local. It was like something like the state senator or something like that, or something or whatever it was, right? And so, um, so I voted for the black guy that knocked on the door, even though he sound he seemed like a like one of those corporate corporate Democrats. But you know, I voted for him because he was the black guy. So I voted for him, and he actually won. Um, but I'm not really into winning or losing. But then they had some other things like I didn't know what one was uncontested, right? So it was uncontested. Didn't matter who was winning. So I wrote ADOS in. See how I did that? And then when they had another thing that was dark, I don't know what it was. And I, I I didn't know what it was. So I wrote ADOS in. 
So here's my strategy for the upcoming this year's election. First, I think um, uh, I'm going to be in the States starting next week for four months of March. I'm not sure, but I think if we, if we if Virginia had early ballot, no, I'm not if they had whatever it is, but their regular thing I'll be back for that. Anyway, is the um, is June is when our primary is, right? So I'll try not be involved with that. But uh, so I don't know, I don't, I don't care whatever. I guess if it's, if, if Bernie's on the ballot, I vote for him just to get him over the over the top, right? Um, and, well, he's going to be on it, Virginia. I guess he is. You know, I'll vote for him just put him over the top. But here's here's the trick: when you go to the regular election, here's the thing. Here's, this is where it's going to be so wonderful. First of all, Bernie should be winning by a landslide. I don't care what people say about Trump. He's going to win. He's got all this stuff. They got all the money and all that stuff. Yeah, but this, as it's been pointed out, or as it's been, is being shown, money ain't enough these days. Yeah, because the people are really, I mean, this is like Marie Antoinette time. You know what I mean? People are ready to take heads, you know? So... So I think the people are going. To, the money's not going to matter. I know, but if they get money, they can they can bribe here by there. But the people, if they get conscious because of all this, when I say social media, but people are missing it. Not media, no matter what it is, this thing is going to be so interesting. But here's the thing. Here's what I'm doing. It comes to Virginia. Whoever see who's on the ballot, right? If it's like, say, for instance, if I know whoever is, I don't know if they're going to have a senatorial race or whatever it is, or. If I know the person's absolutely going to win, absolutely, right, then I'm going to vote. I'm going to write in ADOS, even if I, I'm for the guy. You see what I'm saying? If I, if it's some sort of close thing, like I like to say, say it's uh, Virginia's going to be Trump and and um, and and then Bernie, and it's and it's going to be close, then uh, I have to. Uh, I have to vote for Bernie. Mm, you know what I mean? But if it's not close, if Bernie's going to win overwhelmingly or something like that. I'm not talking about the polls. I couldn't, when I sense them, I have to know when it's, I'll know when it's not close. If it's not close, then what am I going to do? I'm going to write ADOS. Like, if you say Bernie's going to automatically win, I'm write ADOS. If, if, same thing, if Trump's going to, I'm going to write ADOS. I'm not interested in that. It's all be down ballot. But the people, that I'll, I'll research it, of course, I'll be in enough time, see who's going to do what, da-da-da, and I'll re- actually vote my conscience. But some things that, that I can see is somebody's going to automatically win it in no contest. I just wrap ADOS in. Get used to writing ADOS. Just get used to it. Go, go to your, be a part of your primary and write, and don't write. No, okay, primary, you can't write ADOS in. Uh, uh, well, you know what I'm talking about. When election time comes, it's going to be glorious. Because here's what it is. Um... Yeah, we got to push the agenda, AWS, you know, um, reparations, the whole, you know, black agenda and all that sort of stuff. But here's the thing. We can also use this voting as an opportunity to poll ourselves. How many people are truly down with ADOS? Again, when you come to these points where you are uncontested, when it's uncontested, write ADOS in. And it's almost like that's an official record somehow. And if we can see, we can look and see what our numbers are because they have to report. It's some strange phenomena in, uh, you know, in Virginia. There's a lot of ADOS, you know, strange phenomena in Washington, D.C. There's a lot of strange phenomena in, in Chicago. There's a lot in St. Louis and in, 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 in California, in, in, you know, in Florida. It's a strange phenomena. They got these. ADOS is, they, 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 people are writing in ADOS, Georgia, they're writing in ADOS. Well, what, but, but, but our analysis shows that when it matters, they write what they want to write. But when it doesn't matter, they write ADOS in. What's going on here? Revolution. Okay. Oh, revolution. So that's it. That's a little mess. Wait, wait a second. I guess you may have been, now, this is, I'm wearing my ADOS reality hat. See? See how it goes out? All right. See what it is? ADOS. Reality. My wife made it for me. Maybe I'll put one of my buttons on there. On this side, see, I can put, this will be my button hat. I can put a button on there. Let me take my, what am I, my Frederick Sick. My Frederick Douglass got my No Liberation Without Reparations. I got my uh, Red Cloud button. Oh, I got the uh, J. Anyway, let me, let me put this here so you see how I'm going to look. Come conference time. Oh boy, when they post that thing, I'm telling you. ADOS conference is going to be the biggest thing, whatever. And I post, I got to get my ticket right away because I don't want to mess up, you know. I hope they give us, um, they won't give us no warning. Give us warning. They, somebody will flood the, flood the, uh, you know, flood the site, buy up all the tickets. So then, then I'm going to put all the other, uh, a lot of other buttons on this side here, right? So this is what I'll be looking like. Hey, Frederick, oh, you let him look up. 
See, that's it. I'm all set for the voting season. Why? Because I'm ADOS. I'm also T from the Patterson Technic Train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from a little corner here in reality. And remember, remember, we got to save black people.